It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Hello world. Today I'll be taking a step back from building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So instead I'm going to show you how to use this Deepfake Labs Deepfake software to make your own Deepfake. And so uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And if you're here as part of my Python audience, um, don't go too far because this is made in 100% Python. So uh, if you are interested in Python, just know that the Deepface Lab is built there. So this software comes with a sample of using Elon Musk's, um, a presentation from Elon Musk that he did, and then transposing a video of Tony Stark. And so um, that's the preloaded software when you download it. And we'll go over those instructions in a second. So I decided to take someone's face and put it on my body and my performance. So here we have my friend who is the chief operating officer and co-founder for a company called Cast Services. And basically, they're like the leaders in this high-tech real estate space, right? This isn't just a standard real estate agent, right? We're talking high-tech stuff here. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to hit their website. This video is not sponsored by them, but we were having a discussion about deep fakes, and I just wanted to show them a proof of concept um, from a hobby programmer from me. So here's a quick one minute video. Thank you so much for the introduction. I hate it. Um, I just want to, before we get started, I have a tendency to move pretty quickly, talk kind of fast. There's two slides on the left-hand side that we're them is going to entail without giving two um, that the public does not have. There you go. So it's about a minute of him just talking. Um, it is from this Zoom, so the quality might not be the best. All right. And then, what? so that's the source, right? And then I'm going to put his face onto something I did. I am an artificial intelligence copy of David Tam. I'm not perfect, but I get better each day. I'm currently in training to learn how to better serve the real estate consumer, but I have some other skills also. You can ask me about... So that is a minute roughly of, well, it's about 30 seconds of me talking right there, and this is my face, of course. And so using this Deepfake Lab uh, software, you saw from the beginning, this is the result. I am an artificial intelligence copy of David Tam. I'm not perfect, but I get better each day. I'm currently in training to learn how to better serve the real estate consumer, but I have some other skills also. You can ask me about different aspects of the real estate journey, or you can even ask me so if you saw from my funny introduction, I used a Silence of the Lambs quote because uh, if you're not from America or you're not uh, the appropriate age for that, then what it is is a serial killer takes off the skin of somebody and puts it on. And so this is just a quick example. And um, as I show you, I could have merged this, blurred this better, um, but there's nothing you could do for my big old forehead and the uh, having no hair. Um, so that is the deep fake lab software in pro process. And so, um, we'll go through the instructions on how to do it now, but it, it really is kind of easy, but it does take quite a bit of time. Um, so here's a mini tutorial and I'll leave a link in the description for the deep fakes, deep face lab GitHub. But, um, you're going to start off by going to this mega downloader for Windows, if you have Windows. Um, it'll take you to a mega website um, folder. And then you need to determine um, what kind of NVIDIA, uh, uh, what kind of graphics card you have. This can run on a CPU if you have no GPU, like a NVIDIA uh, graphics card. And so mine is a 1635, don't laugh, uh, this is an older laptop and it was just for gaming. So I downloaded this up to the RTX 2080 Ti. If you have something greater, like the 3000 or greater, then you will download this and I believe this is for everyone else. 
So download your appropriate one. And it should come to your downloads folder like this as an application. You double click it and uh, well first when you're in the mega downloader it took me quite a while based off of my download speed because I think it's three uh, gigabytes. So it's going to extract all the files you need and it will look like this. So this is what it looks like. So it ha these are the individual steps and the options you get to choose. Then you'll have this thing called workspace, right? Your workspace, this will be empty, this will be empty, this will be empty. These will not be there, of course. And you'll just have this data destination, right? Data underscore DST, and it must be called this. And then you'll have the data source, data underscore SRC. So I called these OG just so I had them. But basically, it puts Tony Stark's face on Elon Musk's body and appearance <coughs> or in my case i put david tam the coo um, his face onto my body and performance so what you'll do is you'll go to this clear workspace and then press any key to continue and it'll clear the workspace it should say done immediately and this should be continuous to be blank so then the next thing you're going to do is this extract images from video data source. Now this is highly customizable, but just for my proof of concept, what I did was um, just use all the default settings. So uh, so since I'm recording, this is taking quite a while. All right, so you'll see all these separate options. I'm not going to go through them, but I literally press enter on all of them. So, and I'm going to cancel that. And what it does in your workspace, so this says extract images from video data source. So then what it does is in this data, oops, I'm in the data destination, in this data source, it's going to extract all the images. Now, I cut mine off, um, which I should not have. Um, and so that's what it does. Every single frame will be an image. So you'll have like a thousand of them when you're done. So that's number two. And I'll put these in order of the description if you want to do it quickly. Right? So you have a bunch of options that I did not use. But you can if you are trying to make a flawless one. So... Then we, we extracted, so step number two is extract images from video data source. Then we extract the uh, images from the video data destination, full frames per second. So you click on this, it will open it, and it's the same thing. I just pressed enter. I kept all the default settings. So then when you go to your workspace, you look at this data destination, and you'll see a thousand some odd pictures or in my case, 675, because it's only a minute long. Okay, so that's step three. The next one is to four, is to extract the face sets. Okay, so when we go into the workspace, you'll see that there are... Uh... Yeah, okay, so it doesn't show up in there. But what you'll want to do is click on this number four, not the manual one, right? So you'll do that, same thing. This will open up a dialog box, and then you just press enter for all the options. Once that's done, this, then you'll, go, I recommend going to this 4.1. And when you click on this 4.1, it'll open up this thing right here, and it'll show you all the frames. And what I recommend you do is go through every single one just real quickly and see if there's an oddball one. Sometimes it does not recognize the face. Um, this guy right here, he's very animated. So if his hand goes in front of his face, it will mess it all up. And then you just right click on it and delete it. That way you have clean faces. So that was step 4.1.
4.1. Okay, then you're going to extract the face sets uh, right here. Right, we're not doing it manually, we're doing it here. You do that, and then right after that, you do this 5.1. And that's the same thing, but with the other file. So here's all of my pictures, and you'll just want to quickly scroll through them and see if there's any that are not right. Now, I look directly at the camera with no changes, and I'm not very animated. So mine are pretty good, but if you see one that's just not a face, right click it and then delete. Okay, so that's 5.1. Then you'll go into this uh, train uh, quick 96. Right, so we're going to open that one. And this, uh, this is where you actually train the model and this is where it takes uh, a longest. So um i just pressed enter through all of it but you will have to name it so i already have one in there called second attempt and um so that's the latest one it's going to train on if you don't have that in there then just uh, type in whatever you want up here um like training model or it doesn't matter what you write in there then it'll say choose one or several gpu um so if you don't have a GPU, which most modern computers do, but if you don't, it'll just say CPU and it'll run from your CPU. Here is my uh, weak GTX 1650. So index zero, because this is Python and uh, it starts with zero. So which GPU indexes to choose? Just press enter. And see it, it selected zero for me and what it's going to do is it's going to uh, start the training um, start the training right here it says initializing models it's going to load samples and then it's going to give us this uh, kind of this graphical user interface to show now remember I've already trained mine for a little bit so here's more stuff right here um, it's going to start and, um, I've trained mine only to 9,000 times. So this is 9,047 iterations. And so that's why it looks clear. Um, I think the recommendation is 50,000 iterations. So depending on the speed of your GPU will determine how long it takes. So you have some options. You have save. B to back up, enter, and the, if you just press enter, it'll stop. So it'll save the progress. Yours will not look like this in this columns if you're just starting out into a zero if uh, iteration. Then you have P to update. So let's look what that looks like real quick. So about 60 iterations come off and these just get better and better. So if you're trying to do something professional, I recommend 50,000 or more iterations. All right, so you could just keep pressing P and the iterations will update. And as you can see, this is a loss, um, right? And it should get all the way down to zero. That's the end goal, right? No loss, right? So this is, I imagine is loss. And like I said, I think this is pi QT5. Um, so for all my Python people who are here for Python, um, this is using Python 100%. So I'm going to press enter to uh, save the model. And it says done. Press any key to continue and it will close it. Then you'll want to merge the quick 96. So we're going to do that together. All right. So again, it's going to ask you what you just trained. So it just found the model second attempt. So just press enter. Which GPU? Same thing. I'm just going to press enter. And then it's going to pull up this kind of uh, weird looking uh, use interactive merger. Just press enter. Number of workers. Just press enter. So the defaults are to the left. Y and 8. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up this graphical interface. 
So here is, you don't have to memorize these because what you can do is you can switch screens, right? We're going to press tab. That's what this is, tab. And uh, since I'm recording, it's going to take a while. So this is the very first frame. If yours is not like that, press tab again. And what you want to do is go to this next frame by pressing the right caret. So, but we are on a good frame. So if yours is all black or something went wrong, just press the right caret right here for next frame. And so what we have here, let me move this. These are all the details about this frame. 0001 is the first frame. So all of these are set to zero right now. So press tab. And say you want to do the erode mask, right? So erode is W, mask is S. So I'm going to press W. And there you go. The erode mask modifier changed to 1. See, and it's making it smaller. So I'm going to press S. And this changed to 1. I'm going to press S again. And it changed to 0. And this gets bigger and bigger. So press tab. Let's do the blur mask. That's E and D. Press tab again. So let's press E. Now the blur mask modifier changed to 1. Let's press E again. And D. And D. Now this is very subtle, but it's changing this. Um, now let's go to blur sharp. Or let's do face and scale. U and J. So let's press U. And see how it got smaller? See? Output face scales changed. And now let's make it bigger. So that kind of looks a little bit better, to be honest. So let's say this is what I like right here. What we're going to do is it says process or override CFG up to the last frame. Right or override the current configuration to next frame. So if we want this to do, all we do is press the question mark and the up arrow. And it'll process all the frames like that. Then, and then to go to the next frame, you just press that. Or you can go process remaining frames. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to process the remaining frames. And we'll exit out of that. And then you go to this one, 8. Merge to MP4. We're not going to do that because it takes a, a while. But um, same thing. You could just press enter through all of these. Um, so bit rate, press enter. And it is uh, working on it now. And then when you go back to your workspace, oops, you go back to your workspace, you'll have a thing called result. And that's really it to make your own deep fake. Um, to make it more professional, you should spend quite a lot of time in this part right here, uh, seven merge quick 96 and play around with the settings um, and then also training it so training it to 50,000 or more and mer uh, merging quick 96 manually editing the frames would help a lot too so I did this in about I don't know less than four hours and sent it to my friends and they uh, like many of you we thought it was super creepy so I hope this uh, quick tutorial um, help somebody and I hope you uh, have your fun with your own deep face please like this video to help support my channel and to help with the new Facebook algorithm all right thanks for watching goodbye world